Oh no, already? Carson Drake is brilliant. As if you couldn't guess, we're on the air. Annie up, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. <laughs> Here at the event center. Lovely ambiance, great building, and a piece of garbage in the middle of the ring. Don't talk about ring announcer Phil like that. I did not mean him. Uh, Carson Drake, tell it like it is to these fools here in Indianapolis, or excuse me, Indiana tonight, Lawrenceburg. Those are high quality masks. Come on. How rude is this? Carson Drake making enemies everywhere he goes. And somebody who is beloved throughout the TSW fan base. And boy, has he had an incredible showing throughout his young career already. Some wow. call him the fastest rising young talent in this part of the country. Talking about Pac-Man himself, Justin Xavier. Yeah, Justin Xavier undefeated thus far at TSW. That's about to end tonight when he gets in the ring with the Golden State God. Well, two stalwarts of TSW are doing battle here at this particular point in time, and we know how important and pivotal the rankings are. We know that a win or a loss, one event to the next, can have repercussions for months to come. And Drake and Xavier, in two completely different ways, have made a ton of noise. Let's get the introductions. Rude. Very rude of this crowd not to support Carson Drake. You're absolutely right. I'm going to make a stipulation right now for this match. If I win this match, I'm telling everyone here about all saying man. Does he realize it's June? What is he doing? Haven't you ever heard of Christmas in June before? <laughs> no, I haven't. And it's straight from behind. By the way, my name is Joe Dombrowski, welcoming you officially to uh, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Here at the event center, TSW's ante up. Nate Pelly by my side, the snake himself Ooh. of professional wrestling. And it uh, doesn't surprise me you've wasted no time starting off this admiration fest for one young Carson Drake. Well, how could you not admire a guy like that? I mean, look at his hair. Look at his body. Look at the way he carries himself. Carson Drake is the star of the future. He might be the star of the show tonight. <laughs> well, you can't discredit Drake's skill set. Certainly no shortage of confidence. Traveling coast to coast. Understa understand he was in Colorado last night competing. Took a red eye out here to be part of this event here tonight. Of course, uh, when he's not competing in the ring, he loves that... Southern California sun and working on his tan, doesn't he? Well, look how tan he is. I mean, it's barely June. He's already a golden god. And look at this. The way he just carries himself in the ring. The way he's toying with Justin Xavier right now. Carries it, himself like he's better than everybody. Well, he is. Uh-oh. And Drake. Oh, no. Oh, well, you're not going to feel any better than anybody the way you're, he landed there. That's not good. Justin Xavier. Shh, be quiet. Oh! Lighten up the chest of Carson Drake and uh, 
that golden bronze skin is going to turn about six different shades of red and purple. If Xavier has his way, drop kick, and Drake is on the defensive. Well, Carson Drake might be hurt. I hope he is. Coming out here talking about Santa Claus. I'll check this out. Oh, right into the sleeper hold. Quick counter. And notice that Drake is putting his lower body as far away from Xavier as possible. That negates Xavier trying to elbow or maybe knee his way free. But Xavier, great wherewithal. This young kid uh, in his early 20s coming up in the, the sport. But Drake is able to drive him down and bridge up. Oh, look at this leverage right now he's got going. As applies extra pressure on the head and neck. Carotid artery. You close off that passage of the blood to the brain. The lights go out quickly. Just Xavier there, maybe on the verge of tapping out, but able to work his way back to his feet here. Listen, we've talked about the resolve and the competitive spirit of Xavier. He is not the type to uh, press reset on his game console. He's not the type to quit while he's still got tokens to spend or uh, lives to go through in a video game or as a metaphor for life or in the ring as well. Xavier is a fighter. Yeah, he's a fighter. He's not going to rage quit, but you know what, Carson Drake right now, look at the way he's just methodically, piece by piece, taking apart Justin Xavier. What's the number one rule with a guy like Justin Xavier? He likes to come off that top rope, likes to fly high, you ground him. And that's exactly what Carson Drake is doing right now. I wish Carson Drake would rage quit the company, but be that as it may, Drake's got great ring positioning. And really it comes down to you know, something, I know you've talked about what a, what a natural athlete and a talent that Drake is. The, the fundamentals, the ring positioning, the, the, the leverage, grounding his opponent. Drake understands how to win, how to succeed in a big way. But Xavier understands how to survive. Crowd here trying to get behind Justin Xavier. Folded him up with that suplex there. You see Xavier immediately favor that head and neck. He can't follow through due to the damage done by Carson Drake. We will see which of these athletes is able to get to their feet first. Two young, fast rising stars. What a way to kick us off. The most star studded night in TSW history is right here tonight. We thank all of you for joining us and inviting us into your, your homes or your cars or wherever you're listening and watching on your computer, TV, or mobile device. Check out the double spring and Xavier with a crossbody nicely done. Shooting star connects. Will that be all? Two and a half. Oh, very, very close there. Maybe a mistake by Xavier not going for the pinball after that crossbody off the top. He tried to get one more move in. Nate, if Xavier is successful in this matchup, how do you think Mr. Drake will react to that news? Let's not even think about that. Oh. Carson Drake will be in a horrible mood. And besides, I want to know what this secret is he's talking about with St. Nick. I'll tell you off air. Drake able to light up Xavier and really stump that momentum. Yeah, look at this trash talking here by Carson Drake. Big right hand. Heard Drake talking trash earlier about the casino here. Oh, missed in the corner. Drake belittling every single person around him. Told a gambler that uh, most of the big winners quit right before they score big. He's trying to foster a gambling addiction here. He's trying to foster with his feet on the ropes an illegal victory. But Xavier comes back with a thrust kick. Really gambled there to Carson Drake. Almost hit the jackpot, but Justin Xavier countered with that kick. And now he's going up top. Well, Drake may be about to hit Snake Eyes. Xavier looking for triple sevens. Frog Splash connects. Hooks the leg. What a win. And what a way to kick us off. Now we're never going to know that secret. Your winner, Justin Parkman I know you're the second biggest fan of Carson Drake in this entire room, second only to the man himself. Is this the biggest win of Pac-Man Justin Xavier's career to be able to knock him off? I would have to say it is. It's a huge upset in my opinion that Justin Xavier was able to defeat Carson Drake here tonight.
And Carson, he is not going to be in a good mood, I can assure you of that.